the fourth time in his career. Jazz went two for five in yesterday's game. And we're underway with Dane Dunning delivering a strike. First record in the American League, despite taking two out of three in that series. McCormick waves and misses as Dunning picks up a strikeout of the first batter tonight. 3 2 pitch called third strike. That one looked like it had the outside corner as Bregman has a word with back is before he heads back to the dugout one two three start for Dane Dunning or like he was last season. First pitch to Marcus Simeon is fouled out of play Four walks in four and a third innings against the Angels this ball on the ground Bregman knocks it down stays with it his throw across in time. McCormick and Kyle Tucker in the outfield. Bregman, Pena, Diaz, and Guriel with Castro catching Valdez for the first time. There's a line drive off the bat of Corey Seager caught by a let miss Diaz to end the inning. So Fromber just like Dane Dunning with a 1 2 3 start to this one. Jordan hits one high in the air to right field. Well hit. Back goes Garcia. Gone. Jordan Alvarez against the Texas Rangers again his 10th career home run against the Rangers and the Astros on the board first one to nothing all we needed again this is a trend last season Julia would ask for something and it would happen but on cue Jordan Alvarez takes flight Big man going out and getting this one and yanking it out to right field here on an open roof windy night. Up here lends itself to wind, yes. Yeah. Hey, Yuli with a base hit as Julie was talking. We're going to give you credit for that one too. Yuli digging for second and he'll go in head first, sliding safely with a double. The Cuban connection. And he hits the ball hard past the diving Marcus Simeon into right field holding a third will be Yuli Gurriel Kyle Tucker line drive single and a big smile and a couple of runs more on the board Tucker on the go pitches low the throw is not in time Kyle Tucker with a stolen base potential two RBI base hits instead he's come back to strike out Castro. As he threw him a 2-0 and a 2-2 changeup to strike him out. Called third strike. Could have been off the plate. Was close, but back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the inning for Dunning. But the Astros get on the board first. He's in this Rangers lineup today. There's the ground ball. Jeremy Pena to his right bobbles and will not have a chance to make a throw. Rangers after spending two seasons in Tampa Bay and he ropes one in the right center field for a base hit Tucker will go over to try to cut it off low heading to second base he will get there sliding with a double the Rangers was second and third and one out this time swinging away it hits the ground ball to the right side that will score the run and advance low to third it's now tied at one on the RBI ground out by Charlie Culberson score now here's Andy Abania. He hits the ball on the ground sharply, but right at the second baseman Diaz, who makes the last two plays of the inning for the final out. But a run scores, one hit, one error, one man left on. We're tied at one after two. He's and he made seven starts with the White Sox in 2020 during that pandemic year. This ball in the center field, falling for a base hit, bouncing in front of Eli White. Michael Brantley picking up where he left off in that Blue Jay series with a line drive single into center for home run. So the lefties. Have hit him well. Now Jordan's gonna have to try and leg this one out. And Dunning makes the play for the final out of the inning. For seven with five strikeouts against Fromber in his career. He puts this ball in play. Nice backhand pick by Bregman on the short hop with White running. Alex knew he couldn't wait back and makes the play for out number one. Swing and a miss. Fromber strikes him out with a fastball. Valdez with his first strikeout of the game, two away. Ground ball towards the right of Diaz, who will bounce one to Yule for the out. A strikeout and a couple of ground outs in the inning. Line that would have scored two that just went foul. Here, Diaz will shoot one towards the middle of the diamond, but caught by 
Corey Seager for the final out of the inning. That's five in a row sent down by Dane Dunning, who's now retired nine out of ten overall. Three and two. And there's a walk. First walk allowed by Fromber. Now with Marcus Simeon in the fold. Solak is in the outfield. That ball down and in gets away from Castro. And Corey Seager will advance. And that hits Solak. He almost hit him on the 0 2 pitch. Broken bat. Oh. The bat hits Bromberg, flipped by Diaz to Pena. That's a double play. The barrel of the bat went back and hit Bromberg Valdez on the fly, and the Astros turn a double play to get out of the inning. Wow, that hit him hard, too. That bat came flying towards Bromberg. Coming off almost as quickly as the baseball. You can see the ball going past Fromber, but the reaction, and he took that sharp end of the bat off the back. This is real time. No time to react. And thankfully, he had his back to the plate when that barrel came in. Walking off with head trainer Jeremiah Randall. Dunning has gone five innings as his maximum on the season. And Castro draws a four-pitch walk. Into left field, slicing, but Solak is there and puts it away. A walk. One man left on base. Astros and Rangers halfway home, tied at one. The boot, thanks to the run differential, being the tiebreaker. Ground ball in the first pitch of the bottom of the fifth inning. Nice play by Jeremy Pena to his right off balance throw to get Charlie Culberson. 76 games last year for the Rangers. Shoots one past Fromber Valdez and past the sliding Alemis Diaz into center field. Well, Fromber had a barrel of the bat hit him last inning and almost gets drilled with a line drive this inning. Count. Runner on the go and the pitch is upstairs. That'll be a walk. Second walk to go along with a hit bat are all happening in the last two innings. First and second. Heats right behind home plate are really close to home plate as Semyon goes down. Big strikeout right there for Fromber Valdez. Picks up. Just his second strikeout. Both of them have been Simeon. He goes down on strikes here. Foul tip caught by Castro for the final out of the inning. Fromber with back to back strikeouts. We are through five. Two stranded in the fifth. And it's still one to one. Loud a hit and a walk. As he picks up a swing and a miss here on Jordan Alvarez, who goes down on strikes. As the first strikeout since the second inning is fifth strikeout of the game. Only on AT&T Sportsnet. Yuli will bid for a base hit and have one as he shoots one to center field on the first pitch. He's a two out base runner for the Astros. There goes Yuli. The pitch is down and away and Yuli has himself a stolen base. Popped up shallow left coming on Nick Solak still coming on. He can't make the play. Yuli's going to score. Astros take the lead two to one. Down and in back to back full counts from John King. He allowed a flare base hit to Kyle Tucker. Now he walks a lead Miss Diaz. Swing and a miss. King gets Castro swinging to end the inning. But two hits, a run, a walk, two men left on base. Astros take the lead once again. It's two to one. Woodward and the Rangers, Marcus Simeon, Corey Seeger, and Mitch Garver. Seeger leads off with a base hit the other way against Proper. First pitch swinging. Corey Seeger has a single to left. It's for the Astros, but did not pitch. In yesterday's game, ground ball, pass Bregman in the left field. Alex just couldn't make that play. It was hit in the right spot. It could have been a double play. Instead, it's first and second. Nobody had. Call third strike. Solak knew it, tried to pull the trigger, but it was too late. Fromber with four strikeouts of the game, one out in the sixth inning. Swing and a miss. Nathaniel Lowe goes down on strikes. That's a big back-to-back -back strikeout for Fromber Valdez. Dusty electing to keep Fromber in there to try and get Culbertson out. 
As he grounds one towards short, and Fromber will work out of a jam. Strikeout, strikeout, fielder's choice. Fromber Valdez walks off the mound, leading 2-1 to one after six. And down goes McCormick. First strikeout for Matt Moore, two away in the inning. Field, Astros leading 2-1 in the seventh. And Brantley draws a walk after getting down in the count. Uncle Mike on for the second time tonight. Ground ball towards third. Bobbled, stayed with it. Culberson makes the throw across. To get Alex Bregman to end the seventh inning, a walk one man left on base. Seventh inning stretch time here at Globe Life Field in Arlington. With he has Eli White and Marcus Simeon. And there is a line drive base hit off the bat of Abanez. He's going to head to second base, and he will get in there with a stand-up double. Pitch hit high in the air to right field. Playable for Tucker. Willie Calhoun is tagging up. Tucker made sure of that catch, and Calhoun will get in with a head-first slide. Just for him also this season. Ground ball past the diving Pena into center, into left field. That'll be a base hit to tie the game at two. Marcus Simeon, RBI number six as a Texas Ranger. Two runs. We would hope the offense would be able to pick you up as another base hit finds its way through the infield. Another ground ball that finds its way to left field. Bounces and aggressively heading to third is Marcus Simeon. That ball did not get away far. Garcia stays. Line drive hit to right field. Rangers take the lead. Going first to third is Garcia. The throw is wide. Corey Seager drives in his ninth run of the year. And it's 3-2 Texas. There goes the runner. The pitch is hit in the air to center field. Playable for Chaz McCormick. Chaz will come in a few steps and put it away for the final out of the inning. But the Rangers score two on four hits and take their first lead of the game. Ball hit hard to left, sinking and off the glove of Brad Miller, down for a hit. Miller drops it a second time. But finally able to get the ball back in, Kyle Tucker. Diaz line drive to center field, that's a base hit. Garcia got to it in a hurry, so Tucker held up at second base. I'll let Miss Diaz on for the second straight time. There goes Tucker. The pitch is a call third strike. Castro didn't like the call, but he's the third out here in the eighth inning. Astros still down by one. It's 3-2. Home game here tonight in Arlington. Only got a lot of family and friends watching this ball game. Three out of four lefties do up to start the inning, and the first lefty, Nathaniel loves it. He's got a one-two count on the Texas Ranger third baseman. He gets him swinging. Culberson was running to first, but there's a runner there, so he will head back to the dugout. Oh, Parker Mershinsky picks up a strikeout here for the first out of the eighth. A little looper, shallow center. It's going to find its way down for a hit. Willie Calhoun didn't start this game, but he assumed the DH role in the seventh inning, and now he's two for two. Ground ball off the mound. Pena was in the shift, so he can't get to second base. Can only make the play to first. All star at the plate. Walks him on five pitches. That'll load up the bases. Spraying it a little bit. Five pitch walk now, two and one. This ball hit well to right field. Tucker going back, looking up, and it is off the base of the wall and one hop. One run scores, two runs score, a third run will score. Base is clearing double for Adolis Garcia as he breaks this one open in the bottom of the eighth. In the left field, Jordan going back on it, still going back, makes the play as he crosses onto the warning track for the final out. Hit pretty well by Seeger the other way, but retired. Came back to get McCormick after falling behind 3 0. 
Barlow picks up a strikeout for out number two in the ninth. Brantley fly ball to left field. Backing up on it, Brad Miller has it lined up, and that's the ball game. Astros led early. Rangers tied it. Astros took a 2-1 lead. The Rangers would tie it and go ahead and then break the game open in the bottom half of the eighth inning with that double by Adolis Garcia. 6-2 the final score in the first game of the Lone Star Series in 2022. Rangers win it. We'll have more, including the postgame show right around the